I grew up in the United States, um, in the Midwest, and I have a real strong connection to the water and to the land as well. And when those systems, those land and water systems aren't doing well, we as humans don't do well. A big part of making change around renewable energy and sustainability is future generations. My daughter is a trooper because she is raised by a mother who watches her every move around recycling <laughs> and reuse. I know that it is in her psyche. She'll come home and she'll be excited because at school they were making a plan for a rain garden. So I know that what I'm doing in my career sets an example for her and what she imagines is possible in the world. I came to GW because the students had created a really strong initiative around addressing climate change, and they desperately wanted renewable energy on campus. And a lot of our work was small. A lot of our work was you know, recycling around campus or a few courses that were offered around sustainability. We need something big, and we need something different, and we need something that's gonna put GW on the map and this concept of purchasing half of your electricity from renewable energy was that idea. The off-campus project is probably our most innovative. GW has committed to purchasing 50% of its electricity through a partnership with Duke Energy Renewables providing the solar power. That project has been a total game changer. It has reduced the university's carbon footprint by 20% as soon as it launched. It has influenced other universities now to purchase renewable energy in this way. That aha moment was really around, if you do something big and real and impactful, people will notice and they'll want to do the same thing. Being here at GW in the nation's capital, there's no other place I'd want to make that impact. It's like being able to showcase the country what we can do in the nation's capital around renewable energy, but also being able to help students and young people leave here in the tens of thousands, um, understand what it's like to be at a place that uses renewable energy and even study the impacts of that. I have learned that there are limits to what any one person can do. You go through the phases of, okay, I'm gonna change the world, and then you go out there and you try and change the world, and then you realize it's a lot harder than you ever imagined, and you realize, whoa, this is not happening fast enough or big enough. If we really wanna make renewable energy a primary source of energy in this country alone, there's a lot more that needs to happen and needs to happen a lot faster. What motivates me now is helping the next generation learn how to do that.